Hi, this is Andy Brown from The Foundry with another Moto Quick Clip video. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the procedural Boolean tool. Now, on the face of it, it does exactly the same thing as the regular Boolean tool. Um, but the difference is it's procedural, so you can go back and change things, which for this kind of modeling operation is incredibly useful. So this is a good example of a modeling problem. So I've got a cylinder and I want to chop some holes in it, but I don't know what resolution the cylinder needs to be at this point. I don't know how many spans or sides it needs. And, and so in this case, the, the procedural Boolean is ideal. So I'll just take you through how to set it up. So I've got the two items. I've got the cylinder and I've got the cutter. Same as you would with the regular Boolean tool. So I'm going to select the cylinder and then in Mesh Ops, just hit Add Operator and type in Boolean. Double click on that. And it'll ask me for a cutter surface and I'll select the cylinder. Okay, and it's done it there. So you can see I've now got a Boolean mesh op. And under properties, I have an operation. Now, if you're going to use the regular um, direct modeling Boolean tools, you'd be asked to select either a union, an intersection, or a subtraction when you actually run the command. Um, in this situation, you've got access to all three at one time, which makes it much more useful. So at the moment it's set to union, but I can set that to intersect or change it to subtraction. So all of that's contained within the one mesh op. But as I said before, because this is procedural, I can go back and change the cylinder now. So if I select this guy, select the cylinder, let's change the sides to 50. And it'll all update. 